Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit, where we navigate the fast-changing currents of the automotive world. Today, we explore the dilemma facing Stellantis dealers who are opting to shutter their businesses rather than embrace the electric revolution. What does this mean for Stellantis's future in the rapidly evolving automotive landscape? Let's delve into nine compelling reasons. Reason number nine, shifting consumer preferences. Consumer preferences are undergoing a profound shift, influencing how Stellantis dealers approach their sales strategies. Recent market studies reveal a persistent preference for traditional internal combustion engine vehicles and hybrids over electric vehicles, particularly in regions like North America where cultural ties to gas-powered cars remain strong. Consumer hesitations towards EVs often revolve around practical concerns such as range anxiety and inadequate charging infrastructure, especially in rural areas. Hybrid vehicles like the Wrangler 4xe and Grand Cherokee 4xe offer a middle ground, delivering improved fuel efficiency and lower emissions while maintaining a familiar driving experience. Balancing traditional models with evolving EV offerings is crucial for Stellantis dealers to meet diverse customer needs and navigate the changing automotive landscape effectively. Reason number eight, Stellantis's strategic approach to EVs. Stellantis stands out from competitors like Ford and GM by taking a pragmatic approach to electrification. Unlike others, Stellantis does not compel its dealers to sell EVs, prioritizing profitability over quick sales. CEO Carlos Tavares has emphasized avoiding losses on EVs, showing a keen understanding of market dynamics and consumer adoption challenges. While Stellantis plans to profit from EV sales, particularly in Europe, they proceed cautiously, focusing on sustainable growth and preparing next-generation vehicles. This strategy positions Stellantis dealers advantageously amid industry uncertainties, setting them apart in the evolving automotive landscape. Reason number seven, evolution of the EV market. Hybrids are gaining momentum amidst a broader market transformation, particularly within the EV sector. The customer base is evolving beyond early adopters, challenging EVs to prove their practicality. Despite technological advances, EVs struggle to meet middle-class needs as primary household vehicles. Early adopters have already embraced EVs, leaving limited room for growth. Range, charging speed, and reliability remain concerns, while EVs remain more costly than combustion alternatives. Their higher price tag demands a significant lifestyle shift, deterring many potential buyers. Dealers are keenly aware of these challenges, underscoring the current limitations and consumer hesitations surrounding electric vehicles. Reason number six, rise of hybrid vehicles. Current market trends favor hybrids over fully electric vehicles, reflecting consumer preferences for practicality and affordability. Stellantis dealers, like their counterparts at GM, are responding to this trend by advocating for more hybrid models. With strong performances from plug-in hybrids like the Wrangler 4xe and Grand Cherokee 4xe, Stellantis is poised to capitalize on the growing demand for hybrid vehicles. Hybrids offer significant advantages, including lower costs and reduced concerns about range and charging infrastructure, making them a preferred choice for many consumers. With hybrids already capturing a notable share of the U.S. market and experiencing robust growth, their role in the automotive industry is set to expand further. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now, let's shift gears and steer towards our next point. Reason number five, service challenges with EVs. EVs present a significant shift in car maintenance for dealerships, eliminating lucrative revenue from oil changes and traditional services. Former Chrysler brands, known for reliability issues, relied heavily on repair shop profits. However, EVs require less mechanical upkeep and focus more on electronics, reducing the need for traditional repairs. This change forces dealerships to adapt by hiring specialized EV technicians and investing in costly training programs. Consequently, profit margins in service departments are expected to decrease, posing challenges as dealers navigate this evolving landscape. Reason number four, 
aligning with North American customer needs. Stellantis faces unique challenges in the North American market compared to competitors who have global EV strategies. With 25 EVs already in its lineup and plans for 23 more by next year, including models tailored for North American preferences, Stellantis targets a conservative customer base loyal to traditional American brands like Dodge and Jeep Wagoneer. Introducing electric prototypes of models like the Dodge Charger and Ram 1500 reflects this strategy. However, convincing buyers accustomed to powerful combustion engines remains difficult. Stellantis's decision to offer only a gas engine option for the next generation charger further limits EV options, complicating efforts to gain traction in this segment. Reason number three, slowdown in the EV market. Stellantis dealers are hesitant to embrace EVs due to the sluggish state of the market. After years of growth, recent trends show a slowdown. The first quarter saw a modest 2% year-over-year growth, but a significant 15.2% decline from late 2023. Tesla, a benchmark, reported a substantial 17% drop in EV sales in April alone, highlighting market shifts. With Tesla down 14% annually, Stellantis dealers recognize the challenges. Industry-wide EV demand remains low, leading to a surplus, 140 days supply versus the 70-day average. These factors underscore dealers' reluctance to push electric vehicles, reflecting broader market uncertainties. Reason number two, challenges in rural markets. Stellantis, a global automotive powerhouse, encompasses numerous brands, including prominent American names such as Dodge and Chrysler. These brands maintain strong footholds in North America, particularly in rural areas where they enjoy a loyal customer base. The Chrysler Pacifica exemplifies this market strength, critical for Stellantis, despite ongoing challenges. While reducing its extensive dealer network could offer short-term benefits, Stellantis remains committed to these legacy brands due to their loyal customer base. However, rural customers pose challenges to electrification efforts due to infrastructure limitations and long distances. Unlike GM's extensive buyout initiatives with brands like Buick, Stellantis prioritizes targeted EV promotion, acknowledging varying market readiness and consumer preferences across its portfolio. Reason number one, regulatory and market dynamics. Global regulatory pressures drive Stellantis's accelerated EV agenda, with 23 new electric models slated for release. Compliance with stringent emissions standards in markets like Europe necessitates substantial investments in EV technology and infrastructure. However, uncertain consumer uptake, driven by high costs and infrastructure concerns, complicates the ROI calculation for dealers. Navigating these regulatory landscapes and market dynamics requires Stellantis dealerships to adapt swiftly and strategically. Thanks for joining us on this exploration of Stellantis's challenges in the evolving automotive landscape. For more updates and in-depth analysis, subscribe to Piston Pundit and stay ahead of the curve in automotive news and trends. See you next time.